Ready? Ready? Are you on me? Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone, how are you? Long time no video making. I haven't made a video for one year. Um, this video is in response to an email I got all the way from India asking me to make some new videos. So I will. Why not? Okay. Uh, one year ago, I talked about um, exceptions to uncount. Uh, sorry, to countable nouns. I said, let me just park here. When you have modals, you know, can, could, would, should, might, may, etc. A lot of times, you use a, a or an and. Sometimes yes, not all the time. Most of the time, you use these, but sometimes you use that. So, if I can show you, right here, you have a man. And he's going to say, I can, I can ride a bicycle. And because you're using a modal, you're going to have to use that. Uh, why? Well, because he's not going to ride two bicycles at the same time. I would like to see him try to ride two bicycles at the same time, but I think it's impossible. Next. I can lift a puppy. See? Not too hard. Very, very simple and cute. I can make a cake. And again, as you see, you're using these modals, so you're going to have these. Now, this isn't true all the time. Sometimes, as I said, you're going to have this little wee s in some cases. And in when you have this kind of situation, you have to use your common sense. For example, here, you have, I can make cookies. Well, if you were to make, you would never take the time to make one cookie, right? You wouldn't go and mix the flour and the sugar and put it in the oven to make one cookie. People would think you, you, you have some mental issues if you did such a thing. When you make cookies, you make a lot of cookies, so you're going to have to use an S. Okay? Again, if I were rich, I would buy a nice car. You have wood here, so you have that up. Very basic. But this isn't all the time, right? Using these things, though, usually you use the up and end, but sometimes you can use us. For example, if your girlfriend were angry, I said, what should I do? And you say, you should buy her a flower. And I'm sorry, but I think if you buy your girlfriend a flower, she might get angrier at you, as opposed to buying her flowers. And here you have your S. So a lot of times you have to use your common sense, okay, with these things. Let me quickly write something here. Watch. What can you do with, I don't know, $200? And you have to use your common sense. You could say you can buy um, a camera. You're not going to say you can buy cameras. Because I, I think that's impossible. Right? Usually two hundred dollars plus tax, you can buy a camera. Or you can use an S. You can buy, I don't know, one hundred hot dogs on the streets. Usually at two dollars each. Right? So you could buy a hundred of those things. Really, it's up to you. Most of the time, it's these things here. Stop. Good. Okay, right, sure. More. Okay. Uh, next, so we, we talked about uh, modals, can, could, should, would. Also, uh, we have defining clauses. Now, defining clauses, when you have a defining clause, here, of course, what counts will now be. You, you have to have an up or an and. You have no, no choice. For example, watch. A teacher is a person. Now, here you're going to have these sort of articles. You're going to have 
the name of the thing and the type. But observe, all along here, they have these things, up, uh, up, uh, and up, uh, up. Uh. But here, on the end, you get back to the old rule of specific and general, right? When something is specific, use up uh, and an s. When something is general, use So, see, well, a teacher is a person. Hmm. Interesting, I didn't know that. Right? <laughs> a teacher is a person who educates students. Here you have your S because it's general. A lion is an animal. Oh, well, wow. I'll be darned. That eats other animals. Again, you have your general thing there, so it's an S. A nuclear bomb is a weapon. Hmm. See, these are all definitions that can kill many people. Plural, you don't have an S, this is an E, regular noun. So it's pluralized differently. If you want. Um, you can. Uh, send my, uh, uh, you can give home, I'm giving you homework if you wish, uh, the YouTube community. Uh, try, try making uh, a defining clause with a, a dentist or a lawyer. Or a dog and an ostrich using this type of model and send it to me and I'll happily correct it for you. It'd be, uh, you know, fine. Okay, next. One more thing. Listen! When you have, when, when you compare two things, or three things, you need an a uh or an uh in most cases. Okay. Uh, for example, watch, which is bigger? A mouse or an elephant, and you know what? You can you can uh, I won't give you the answer. You can you can uh, again YouTube it to me, and I'll correct it for you if you wish. Okay. Which is bigger, a mouse or an elephant? I wonder. Who makes more money, a doctor or a teacher? Well, you know the answer to that. I wish it were the other way around. <laughs> but, you know, we all have our purpose in life. But as you see, observe. You know, you have or, which is a comparison. You have a comparison. You have these things like that. Which is more dangerous, a gun or a hamster? Pretty obvious to me. Okay. So, uh, these are very basic um, English grammar questions. Right? That any anyone who's studying this should know. That pretty much sums up everything. Uh, yeah, I think that sums it up. Anyways, uh, I I am intending on making more videos. Uh, I, I've uh, you know that this whole uh, uh, I don't know. I like making videos, so I will make some more soon. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it was a pleasure teaching you, and uh, I, if you have any comments, please email me or YouTube it to me. Okay, take care. Have a nice day.